Meatloaf, a classic American dinner, meatloaf and mashed potatoes. But of course we want to do this as a vegetarian version. So we're going to skip the meat and keep the loaf. First thing we're going to do is to mix together our spices. And we have chosen to do this meatloaf as a Mexican style. So we have chili powder and cumin and paprika and some oregano. But meatloaf is one of those things that can be kind of made in whatever style you want. So if you wanted to add some Italian seasonings to it, feel free, make it your own. Cutting up a bell pepper, make it super simple for yourself. Instead of cutting it in half and then digging out all the seeds, just cut those side walls off of the seed packet inside. Then you can chunk that up into large dice. We really aren't concerned too much about the piece sizes here because we're gonna be putting these vegetables into a food processor. So let's let the food processor do the cutting for us. Cutting up our onion, again, super easy. Cut it in half and just really big chunks of that as well. All right, here's our food processor. Now this part is kind of important. So if you over puree here and make yourself a sauce, that will definitely impact your finished product. So we're only going to add half of our beans and we're going to blend those down a little bit more than we would the other half. And that's just so that we have the nice uh, pieces of bean in the finished meatloaf that we can see and dig our teeth into. A little bit of cheese for flavor and a single egg being used as a binder. You could add more egg if you want to, but a substitute for egg could be some flax seeds, but the egg is really recommended. If this were a meatloaf, the meat itself would have a lot of that binding characteristic. Putting those last beans in, and then I'm just going to pulse this, because again, I don't want to cut those beans up too much. We want to keep them whole. We want to be able to see those in the finished loaf. All right, now let's check our consistency here. Make sure that uh, we haven't overblended. Looks great with actual pieces of bean there. A little bit of salsa adds some spice to it and a little bit of masa flour, another binder. Fresh cilantro brings that nice fresh quality to the ingredients. Now again, I wanna mix this up just enough to combine all those ingredients, but I don't want to mix it so much that I'm mashing those beans that we're trying to keep whole. Fresh corn on the cob. There, that's a little bit of sweetness that's coming to our recipe. Now, could I use a frozen corn kernel? Yeah, that's possible, but I find that the taste of the fresh corn adds a lot to this particular dish. Mix just enough to make sure that all of our dry ingredients are in combination with the liquids. We really wanna make sure that the pan that we're cooking this in is well oiled so that our loaf comes out in one piece when it's finished cooking. Go ahead and fill up that loaf pan and then it's time to get this into the oven. Voila, fully baked, ready to eat loaf. That slices very well, holds together great. Look at the consistency, all the pieces, lots of different colors, packed with vegetables and full of flavor. Meatless loaf, that's what's for dinner. 